What's up, everybody? Um, I am new to streaming, and this is the first thing I'm going to stream. Uh, this is Crusader Kings 2. You may or may not be familiar with it. Um, I'm not going to go into a whole lot of exhaustive detail about what this game entails. Um, it's mostly a grand strategy game where you try to conquer a lot of the world. Uh, I'm just going to dive right in, and you can kind of see how it goes um, as I go along. Uh, I'm going to start off um, pretty simple for this playthrough, you know, middle of the uh, the time period. You can play throughout any part of 700 years. Uh, so I'm going to choose right now who I'm going to play as, and that is going to be um, the Duchy of Tuscany, which is the Di Canossa family. Now, the way we play this game is I just have to keep somebody from the De Canassa family on, um, you know, uh, the, the throne or the, uh, uh, you know, I, they have to have a title uh, above barons. They have to be a count, a duke, a king, or an emperor. Um, uh, and or the female equivalents of those. Uh, between now, 1066, and uh, 1452 when the game ends. So, uh, let's see how that goes. Uh, oh, I do use a number of mods. Um, I'll, you know, maybe I can show you somehow what those are. Uh, these are the rules I'm using. Um, not doing Iron Man. Or you know what, fuck it, let's do Iron Man. By the way, I curse. If you don't like cursing, this ain't the video for you. Um, let's see. Start game. Iron Man Tuscany. Yeah, let's do it. Um, alright, so as the game loads, we'll go over a few things. I don't want you to be completely lost. Uh, so, hey, this is, this is perfect. So, in Crusader Kings 2, you play as a succession of medieval rulers from a single dynasty, dynasty or family. There is no set goal, but the world is filled with ambitious rivals. Secure more land to increase your power and protect your family. You cannot hold infinite amounts of land yourself. To expand, you will need to rely on vassal rulers. Keep them happy with titles and gifts, lest they decide to revolt. The game will end in 1452, if your line can stay in power that long. Dun dun dun. As a ruler, your first priority is to secure an heir. If you do not have a legitimate heir, when your character dies, the game will end. Other pressing matters appear as alerts along the top of the screen. Hmm, my headphones just popped out. Alright. Um... Crusader Kings 2 is a pausable, real-time game. This means you can issue commands both while the game is paused and when the clock is running. To pause or unpause the game, click the date in the upper right corner or press the spacebar. Use the plus and minus symbols to speed time up or slow it down. Crusader Kings 2 takes place on a fully 3D map. Eh. You can zoom in and out using your mouse scroll wheel. Holding down the scroll wheel and moving blah 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 blah. You don't need this part. Next. You are playing an Italian Catholic Duchess. Alright, Italian culture effects. None. Cool. Feudal government revolves around the oath between liege and vassal, and feudal lords can only directly own so many holdings before they must start to rely on vassals whose loyalty may vary. That's key. There are several succession laws to pick between, each with its own merits. The centralization law controls the maximum size of your domain. That's, that's de main, you know. Uh, where was I? Oh yeah, and the number of direct vassals you can have. The centralization law controls the maximum size of your domain and the number of direct vassals you can have. If you should convert to a religion in the Muslim group, your government form will change to Ikta. Alright, so uh, we're Catholic, 
we still have Catholics in 2018, so I'm not going to go over that. Um, all of these, maybe you read these while I was, um, you know, rambling. So uh, if you haven't, read them now. Okay. All right, so we are paused. Um, we are in the Holy Roman Empire. This is who we are. And evidently, people start whispering whenever we show up. Super annoying. Maybe we'll kill some of them later. Oh. <laughs> they stopped. I love death threats, guys. Have I said that? Of course I haven't. This is my first stream. Oh, see, so we've got a non-dynastic heir. That's a big fucking problem. Count Joffret of Forcalquier. Uh, yeah, fuck that guy. I think... So what we have to do... By the way, uh, the Holy Roman Emperor Empire is our parent empire. We can look at all the other components of that. We are Tuscany. That's what we are. Tuscany. We can be other things too if we capture them. Um, so we have all these little provinces. Florens, Luca, Modena, Parma, Brescia, Ferrara, Spoleto, Aprutium. Uh, and each of these are counties. These are counties. Okay. Um, Tuscany is a duchy, which is made up of counties. And the Kingdom of Italy doesn't exist yet, but we can form it if we want. All right. Um, so, uh, now, these counties, like Spoleto, for example, has baronies in it. So there's a barony, a city, and a bishopric. Um, we can only hold baronies without a penalty. And this is the capital, you know, of the county. But uh, you have to, this is not enough. Like these little things by themselves are not enough to uh, keep playing. We have to, um, we have to hold at least a county level title in order to continue the game when this person dies. Now, luckily, she's only 20. Her age, see? She's got all kinds of stats. We've got learning, intrigue, stewardship, martial, diplomacy. Uh, by the way, if you guys are already bored, uh, quit now. Uh, it doesn't get, like, more action-y than this. I mean, it does, but, you know... Uh, the overall gist of what you're seeing is about what there is. We'll unpause it eventually and start doing some stuff. But uh, if uh, if you hate it now, you're going to hate it later. So, fair warning. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to, I'm actually going to dive in and start playing this game here. Uh, I've already spent nine minutes like just blabbering. Uh, so first thing we need to do is have an air. And in order to have an heir, you see, I don't have a spouse here, so I'm going to get married. And I'm going to find somebody who has good stewardship. The Count of Skane. Uh, Count of Gwines. Oh, we need a matrilineal marriage. See, look at that. Now, this guy has a claim on England. Oof, look at that. This guy has a claim on Scotland, claim on Hungary. Ooh. If I could get a claim on Hungary, what is this guy's deal? He's an Arpad. That's the ruling dynasty in Hungary, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, we can also look at these folks here. He's an Arpad, see? Uh, now back to what I was doing. Ooh, the mumbling people. Hate him, hate him, hate him. Hate, 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 rage. Kill. Um, I think what I'm going to do, actually, I seem to recall that there's a, 
a guy here who's not entirely worthless. Oh, Count of Rassia, doop de doo. Uh, oh, maybe he's not there anymore. Dear, oh dear. It used to be that there was a guy in Dukla Jajaja, or whatever this is, that um, would uh, be a good match for her. But anyway, matrilineal marriage means that the chick will be the controlling individual in the marriage, which is important for us because if we marry a regular marriage, then the kids from that marriage are not going to be our legitimate heirs, which is bad. Okay, so steward of Rosello heir to the bishopric of Quixa, steward of Domnonia. We want claims. Claims are good. Bologna, Dehubarth, and Powies. Um, Upper Silesia. Do, 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 do. Bishopric of Foril. See, we don't want these, um, dudes who are going to be bishops because then they become celibate and that's not what we need uh, let's go by rank here uh -huh. commander of sex <laughs> uh, let's see heir to the bishopric heir to the bishopric Commander de Hubarth. Uh, first plan was better. Heir to the bishopric. Fuck me. Bishopric. Good grief. All these pricks. Bernard de Brossi. De Brossi. Bishopric. Man, I'm having a tough time here, all of a sudden. Uh, maybe let's go for... Some generals. Heir to the county of Tyr Egogane. That's in Ireland, I think. Uh, Fwa. He's 56 years old. Domnall. Commander of... Alright, I'm going to do this a different way. Find characters... Search all. Search men who are not in prison, not married, hopefully not mumbling. My religion group. Don't care about culture. We need an immediate marriage. Uh, and let's sort that way. Great house would be nice. Uh-huh. Do, 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 do. Steward of Paragord. Bar Baron of Breshko. Uh-huh. Heir to the county of Perfedwid. Barony of St. Omer. Let's see, my culture group. Let's see if this is any more useful. Heir to the barony of St. Omer. Uh, Count of Gwines. Steward of Flanders. Where's Gwines? Let's see where that is. Do do do. I promise this gets more fun. I regret my earlier statement that... Uh, this is what we get, because there really is more to it. Uh, Gwines, Gwines, Gwines. Where's it at? Let's see. Gwines. This is a really critical decision in the early game. Later on, we'll be able to make decisions like this a little bit more uh, freely or lightly. And there will be more options once we go up in power. Um, 
Let's see. Let's see. How old is this guy? 36. Let's see. I wonder what happens if we if we marry him. Matrilineal. Oh, he won't do it. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, screw you, buddy. Do 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 do. Count of wines. You know, his diplomacy sucks. Who's this guy? Oh, Dandolo. He's Venetian. <laughs> the Pope. <laughs> I wonder if I could marry the Pope. Apparently not. All right. Oh well. Um, Patrician of Dandalo. You know what? Let's see. Let's see if he'll do it. Uh, he does not allow matrilineal marriage. All right. Boy. Uh. Count of Orvieto. Let's see here. Damn it. Little bitch. Alright. Uh, Baron of Este. Nope. Alright. We're going to need to do this deal. People who will accept matrilineal marriages. Prince of England. We want stats and we want claims, you know. Uh-huh. Air. Okay. Just for the sake of getting this game uh, off the ground because that this has been 10 minutes of me looking for a husband here let's go with this guy all right now we're going to choose a focus my focus is going to be hunting because i want to up my martial stat um and the ambition you're going to Uh, groom and heir. That's very important. Fertility is increased by 20%. All right. So now, unmarried ruler, domain too big. I have to hand out some titles. What titles do I have? County of Modena. County of Spoleto. Aprudium. Siena. Ferrara. Brescia. Florence, Spoleto. Well, I have the Duchy of Spoleto. Okay, that's good. So I, I need to hang on to my two duchy titles. If you give away one of your highest level titles, it'll become a separate domain. So we don't want that. And in the Duchy of Spoleto, which is Spoleto and Oprudium, um, I can give away these two counties. So who do I have? Uh, find characters. There, men, ruler, no, married, any. Uh, great house, any. There we go. Grant this guy a landed title. You're going to be the Count of Spoleto. There you go. See, he's my vassal now. The Count of Spoleto. Because I just gave him that. And see, now we're down to six of four. All right, so. Count of Spoleto. 
Steward, heir to the bishopric. Fuck you. This guy is okay. He is stubborn and ambitious, but so I'm not going to give him anything. This guy is alright. He's strong, and he's patient, and he's kind, and he's stubborn, and he's cynical, and an amateurish plotter. Perfect. Nice, weak vassal. I'm going to give him a prudium. Okay, take that. And then I have to give away one more thing. So let's see. County of Modena, Siena. Let's see. My Duchy of Tuscany is de jure Luca, Siena, and Florence. So I think... Ah, wait, Corsica. Look at that. Oh, Corsica already has... Chancellor... Count of Corsica and Parma. And then my Marshal. So these guys are my vassals. Uh, so, alright. I'm definitely going to want to... Uh, yeah. But I guess uh, Brescia is part of the Duchy of... Lombardy. Parma here is part of the Duchy of Modena. Ferrara is part of the Duchy of Ferrara. So I'm going to hang on to Ferrara. Luca, Florence, and Siena. Brescia, I'm going to give away to somebody. Um, all right, who am I going to give? Who was it that I was going to give this guy to? Uh, oh, yeah, Jacopo. Oh, he's the Count of Aprudium already. I got to give away one more. This guy is... Guido. Oh, fucking Guido over here. Uh, uh, Lazarino. Just for the name. I mean, he's content, he's trusting, and brave. That's about perfect. Uh, I'm going to give him Brescia. All right. Now, the reason, guys, that I gave away those particular counties is that these, these three here, are in my home duchy. I am the Duchess of Tuscany, which contains Luca, Florence, and Siena. Okay, Spoleto and Oprudium are in a different duchy, the Duchy of Spoleto. I mean, they're in my overall duchy. They're under my control because I control the top level titles. Uh, at least within the Holy Roman Empire. Um, and um, I get, and Ferrara is mine. I'm going to be taking Bologna and um, you know Ravenna. Those are going to be mine. Or at least Bologna. Baloney, whatever it is. Um, and I'm going to, my plan is to have those six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Like that. Be my personal domain. And then I'm going to use the that as a base to gobble up the rest of Italy here. That's the plan. Anyway. Um, and then maybe we'll, like, you know eat up Croatia and however the fuck you say this. Um, we'll have to get Apulia. Um, I think 
we're at about 24 minutes on this recording. So what I'm going to do is just a few... Um, oh, we need a chaplain. This guy, that'll work. He has high learning. Uh, what I think I'm going to do in the next video is down here there are some Muslims in Sicily and we can declare a holy war on them. So I am going to make it up to you guys, uh, make up to you the fact that this video has been boring and uneventful by, I will, I will declare war down here uh, in Sicily in the next video. So that's my promise to you. It's not going to be more of the same. Uh, from now on, it will be action. I mean, you know, don't hold me to it like every video, but, you know, I'm going to make an effort. I'm going to make an effort, I promise. Um, so now, let's see. What will we do? Uh, we can recruit a court physician. Let's not do that right away. I've done, done enough recruiting. Uh, here are my cities. I have four left. Uh, I'm going to unpause the game. Novel concept. Okay, so now you can see that the date is ticking by. Do do, do. My money is here. My, oop, we've got an alert. Has created the duchy title or the tut title. Da, 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 da. Title, Duchy of Upper Burgundy. Where is that? Upper Burgundy. Where would that be? Maybe we need to refresh. See, because remember, we're part of this Holy Roman Empire. Eventually, we want to break out. But uh, not yet. Not yet. If, they, if I had the opportunity to do it right now, I wouldn't. Because... Um, if I did, then I wouldn't be able to gobble up any more of this territory inside the Holy Roman Empire without declaring war against the whole thing. So because I'm part of the Holy Roman Empire, I can declare internal wars against his vassals without actually fucking with the big guy. So that's, I'm gonna keep, uh, gonna, you know, keep it low key for now. Um, so that we don't really care. Whoa. Okay. So we're getting married. Uh, respect people's wealth. So do I want gold, or do I want prestige? I want gold. Um, for my wedding present, that was. So this guy is now my husband, and we will have kids, hopefully. Um. And, you know, quite soon. And, uh, yeah, title loss on succession. Fucking everything, because we don't have an heir. Um, okay, so I'm going to stop the video here, because this has been half an hour. Um, and, yeah, I don't want to spend the rest of the night uploading. And, uh, so anyway, I'll see you next time when, remember... Uh, it's not going to be as boring as this one because we will have already gotten all the details out of the way and we will declare war on the infidel scum in uh, Sicily. Alright, so see you next time.